there's a couple of different kinds of ligands. Uh, one is this type of ligand. And this is in table 24.2 in your text, in the Petrucci, uh, if you want to take a look at it. But some of them are neutral ligands, so here are some ligands for you. They don't have the same names, though, so you've got to learn the new names. So like water is aqua for water. So that's its name when you're naming transition metals. Carbon, carbon monoxide is called carbonyl. Uh, let's see, this is nitrosyl, and then the, the ammonia, kind of similar, amine. So you got to know the names of the neutral ligands. Those are the funniest, weird ones. The other ones are kind of more normal. Uh, so let's say the fluorine, chlorine, bromine, etc. If you have anything else that has a charge, you put the suffix O at the end. So this is fluorum, chlorum, bromum, etc. If you have, let's see, there's other ones like you could have a, a polyatomic SO4 2 minus. What's the, what is that normally called? That's sulfate, A-T-E ending. You change the E to O, so it's sulfato. So you're essentially adding O's at the end of the name. Uh, anybody remember the name of this one? Yeah, that's a hydroxide. This is hydroxo. So you cut the ide, or if it's an eight or ite ending, you put just an ATO or ITO respectively. Uh, one more, just so you can see. What's the name of this one? Cyanide. That's cyanide, so we want to call it? Cyano. Cyano, yeah. So you kind of get the idea. The really the ones to memorize are on the right hand side, the neutral ones. They have the funky names. These are called monodentate ligands. Mono means one, dentate means tooth, so it's a one tooth ligand. That means it bites on to the transition metal in one location only. Uh, okay, now let's do the next type. And this is, those are all listed in a table in your book. They're the ones in there. Uh, the table in Petrucci is 24.2. And then it's kind of a multi orbed table. So below it has the other type of ligands called a polydentate. Ligands. These, that means they bite on in more than one location. So, uh, let me give you an example. Let's say you have a transition metal here. A common polydentate ligand is En. And that bites on in two places. So it's called a bidentate ligand, or two-toothed ligand. It has two bonds going to the transition metal. En is the uh, what I say? shorthand notation. Uh, for what it actually is, it's, uh, I'll draw it out first, it actually is this, NH2, CH2, CH2, NH2, so it bites on on two places, or so both nitrogens bond, it makes a little ring structure. That's EN, it stands for ethylene diamine. It's a really popular one, so that's a good one to know. A couple of funny things. Ethylene, eth is the prefix for two carbons, like ethane. So this is the ethylene part. The di means two, 
amine is ammonia. But notice this amine is spelled differently than the other neutral ammonia amine. This has one M, the other one has two M's. So it's spelled a little bit differently. But if EN is the symbol for it. The, another one, so there's only three in your text. It's OX, oxalato. It bites on in two places. Uh, what does it look like? It's essentially looks like this. It uh, has two carbons. If you remember oxalate acid or oxalic acid, that's the same oxalate. And then the last one uh, is your third lab. I'm not even going to write it out, but it summarizes EDTA. It bites on in six places. So it's a hexadentate ligand. It stands for ethylene diamine tetraacetato. You can look up this value if you want to. Okay? Most commonly, we're going to use the top one. You'll see that one commonly appear. 